Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Blue Beam Man, and today's video we're gonna cover top 10 productivity features in Blue Beam. This is a getting started video. I highly recommend that you go to the share button and copy this and share it out with people who use Blue Beam, and maybe these tips could save them hours and hours and hours of time if you're not aware of what these uh, of what these tips do so first off i want to get started with the reuse tool this is by far probably one of the most overlooked items in all of bluebeam and I, i'm just going to make that claim right now but it's maybe not substantiated however the reuse tool is right here on the bottom right and if you click camera this little icon i made and you go to this sample drawing obviously it's gonna be a little small because i didn't scale this but if you click there, the cursor goes back to your hand or back to your mouse pointer, and you're like, dude, I gotta go back here every single time. Well, the reuse tool, what this does, it keeps this icon live on your cursor. And after every left click, it remains stuck to your cursor. So then you can go out here and just go lay the icons or whatever markups, it'll stay on indefinitely. And when you wanna end this, all you have to do is hit the escape key to end it, to go back to home or you can right click and it'll open the menu. I like the right click sometimes, I don't like to click escape. So reuse tool, once you click on anything in the tool chest, it's active until you hit escape or right click on your mouse, but make sure you take advantage of this to save you boatloads of time. Okay, tip number two, full page mode. Full page mode is also one item that really helps out for navigation on drawings. So you can either double click on the scroll wheel on your mouse like this, or if you're zoomed in somewhere, you just click this full page button right here. So that's incredibly helpful to get you back to home so you can put your mouse and roll your scroll wheel forward and go to that spot where you wanna go. I really like this feature because it helps me speed up time. Okay, that's the full page mode. Next one is snap to grid. Again, these are really cool tools down at the bottom. This is snap to markup, snap to grid, but the grid and snap to grid has a really cool feature. So let's just say you wanted to make a nice fancy call out. So you're gonna turn on the snap to grid, you go to markups and get this little polyline, um, polygon tool. And then you can do something like this. Click, 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 click. Oh, almost didn't get that. I have a lot of, um, oh, perfect timing if you hit backspace on your keyboard it'll back you up one step so now that i created my cool little polygon i can then go take this polygon down here and say i need to point to a door i can then snap this right to the grid i can go get a text tool really quickly markup text box and i'm going to set this font here to like four just to get started and then because I had the snap on, it'll snap this perfectly right in there. And I can say, you know, door number two, three, four. Okay. Obviously that text is a little bit smaller, so you can raise it up a notch, maybe to eight. Uh, let's stick with like six. And then you can snap this back here and you're like, and now it's perfectly set up. So now you have like a little call out. And then from there using this, uh, this grid, you can go to your tools and then you can go to let's just say a line you could do a um where is it it's a polyline i it's right in my face there it is and then once this is set up you can um, easily click here and click to say maybe this this line there and then you can go right to the door and um, the double click ends it. Now, if you wanna add something to that line, which is kind of cool, you can add an end to that and that'll be a big guy, it looks like that. And if you make it 25 or 50, you'll have a nice call out. So that is a very professional way to use the grid and the snap to grid to make a really quick professional looking, say call out if you wanted to make it that way and um, snap everything together and make it nice and clean. Awesome, next one, profile recap calibration so in this profile there's a lot of skins and profiles basically that bluebeam gives us and sometimes you like to move some of these things around so one of the things i like to do is you can on the markups list i like to keep mine on the right hand side because i have an ultra wide pc if you right click you can also attach this to the left right bottom okay so you can move these to the bottom now my markups list is down here so you can kind of customize your dashboard which is really cool not a lot of people know to right click on that 
but then I want to put it back on the right. So when it comes to this profile they're using, this is the either the dance or the review profile, you can right click on all of these icons and move them to the sides of the screens of where you want them. And I thought that's really cool. Okay, next is navigation flow. Navigation flow is super, super, super important. So what I like to do is I always keep the pointer on. That's just me. This is just a tip. And with the pointer on, I'm gonna turn these guys off here. I can zoom in. And then when I, I can also zoom in to you know click on something and move it. But then if I wanna move across the drawing, I hold down the scroll wheel on my mouse, the hand turns on, and then I can move across the drawing. I can zoom out, zoom in, I can select things, I can grab things from my tool chest. So I pretty much stay away from the hand. I stick with the pointer 24 seven. So that's a really cool navigation trick as far as using the pointer, zooming in, using your scroll wheel to hold down and drag across the drawing. Make sure you have a badass mouse because if you have a mouse that really sucks and makes the whole scrolling across the drawing extremely painful. All right, next up, uh, pinning icons to the taskbar. So you can see up at the top, you have all these icons up here. Now, sometimes things that you use all the time, say like maybe an erase tool, um, you can go down here to edit PDF content. And let's say this erase content, I wanna pin this to my taskbar up top. So if you hit pin and then I believe advances on there, so if I click advanced, it should show up, but I don't know why it is not showing up. Maybe I already have it in there. Let me try this again. For some reason, that one didn't like me the other day also. Um, the text edit is in there. Uh, let's see, maybe cut content and let's pin that to advanced text. So there we go. So now the advanced text, the, it's up there. And also I can go down here and go to PDF content and I'm gonna go my erase and I'm gonna put that in advanced text too. So there it is. So now you can effortlessly go to the ones you use all the time to delete stuff off your PDFs. Pretty awesome. So definitely right click on most of these features that exist within this markups list and then you can pin them to the taskbar, your most commonly used items. All right, next, bulk page renaming. This is an awesome one. Um, if you have a whole bunch of pages and they have some really funky names, what you can do is you can click on this little guy here and then you go to search a page region. And now I'm gonna go down here. I just wanna see maybe um, this, what this is right here. So I want all, so now what Bluebeam is gonna do, it's gonna search that location on all the other pages and I'm gonna click okay. And then it's going to go now rename all my pages. So you can see up here, if I open these up, they're all labeled level two floor plan, which is pretty neat. So that's a really cool thing. If you get a whole bunch of drawings that really don't, the descriptions don't make sense, but you wanna relabel them to what they actually are versus maybe the detail, you can now go to the level two floor plan. Obviously it would have something different on there, but you can use this to jump to the pages you need to jump to quickly. So that's that one. The next one is pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is the email button. And definitely when you have a drawing like this, you can finish it, save it, and then just click email and hopefully your Outlook browser would open and it'll attach the drawing right into your email and then you can send it off to whoever you need to send it to. But the email, don't overlook this feature uh, because this is a great one to just send off stuff you're working with right away. The next one is really, really cool. I don't think a lot of people know this, but you can right click on any one of these tabs on the top and you can say explore document folder. What this does is this enables you to go, your Bluebeam will take you to the folder where not only this drawing is, but where all the other files that are maybe important to your project are. So if I click explore document folder, obviously this this is around my, it's in my roaming temp files right now because I didn't save it anywhere, but it'll bring you right to that section and maybe you can go find other documents that you wanna work on. So again, super helpful tip. Last but not least is one of my favorites is the snapshot tool. This tool is personally responsible for creating an absolute amazing set of icons and for a lot of cool things. But with the snapshot tool, you can easily go in and hack pretty much anything off a drawing that you want to use. So let's just say you want to reuse these toilets. You really like the way these toilets look. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab this toilet. And then now I can go hit paste and I can pretty much reuse anything on a PDF and make it my own. I can add this over to my, um, my tools. So now I have the toilet off we go. So imagine the possibilities of just being able to take anything you want off a drawing, reuse it and show people that you're awesome at Bluebeam. So in wrapping up, these are just 10 really cool productivity features. We got the reuse tool, the full page mode, the snap to grid, the profile recalibration, navigation and workflow, 
pinning icons to the taskbar, bulk page renaming, right click on the tab folder and uh, to find the file, the email button and the snapshot tool. So hopefully go ahead and share this video out with as many people that you know who use Bluebeam. Hopefully they can benefit. I know these are incredible features. If you don't know about these and you use Bluebeam for two years, I guarantee you, you're gonna just kind of go, man, I wish I would have known that two years ago when I wasn't using the reuse tool, going like click, 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 click. It's ridiculous. Um, so you wanna use that. So anyways, have a great day everybody and um, keep crushing it with Bluebeam.